What we're trying to show here is how to select the resolution of the display. We have a customer who said he'd like to display to one hundredth of a millimeter on linear travel. So here you can see that the display is defaulted down to tenths of a millimeter. So we see millimeter setting and one decimal place. So what we do to change this to hundredths of a millimeter we go into the programming mode by pressing the P button where first parameter is the resolution so here we can step through via the arrow up button there you can see 0 0.05 millimeters and then 0 0.01 this is the value that we want to change the parameter and store it we're in the parameter now change the value and then we press the star button and that will register the change when we come out by stepping through via the P button to the end again comes back to the setting and now you can see the movement is to a hundredth of a millimeter again with that parameter we can set it I quickly show you again to various other settings in there we can set it to inch, hundredths of an inch, to thousandths of an inch, and we can even set it to fractions of an inch. And one millimeter, 0 0.1 of a millimeter, 0 0.05 of a millimeter, hundredths of a millimeter, and then again inches. The value at the end where it says free is a value that we can enter in to show angles so a very useful function for showing angles or strange distances moved uh, which are not purely linear here we'd like to show you how to step through the parameter list so simply by pressing the P button for a set time which with this display you can see counting down you enter into the programming mode release the P button and then you can step through each parameter you're not changing anything but this is how you can get to the parameter you want to change and then if you keep going down to the end you go back to the current position value. With this video we'd like to show you how to set a number of offset values. For example the application might be a machine tool where there are a number of different tool sizes of varying diameters and the axis might be required that these values are entered in uh, manually by the operator relative to two or three or four or a number of different tool sizes. So initially what you have to do is you enter into the programming mode by the P button, move down to the R offset and make sure it is switched on. Once you've made the change uh, press the start button to register this change what this means is you come out of the mode you're in the standard position mode at the moment and now to make that change to a different uh, tool size different offset you press the P button and the arrow across button and you will enter into a varying offset mode by the front meaning you don't have to go into the program parameter list so an operator can set this easily and now instead of being 30 millimeters the diameter of the tool for example is 50 millimeters make the change again
how to set the reference or you could say datum or calibration value on the machine. We had one customer recently who said he couldn't get the axis to the zero position. This isn't a problem because uh, in his case he said he could get it to 10 millimeters and then he wanted the value of the reference to be 10 millimeters. So when you go into the programming mode, you step through by the P button to the reference value. Default is zero. So to get 10 millimeters into there, you move along to the digit you want to change. Move it up one till it shows 10 millimeters. Press the star button to register the change. And then come out and we will see that the value has changed to 10 millimeters. You move the axis to that point which was now, that is at 10 millimeters, and press the star button and the axis is datumed. With this video we'd like to show you how to set the parameter called R store. And what this does is it just makes sure that the value of the last position, for example 7.2, 7.3 where we are at the moment, when we switch the display on and off, that value is still there without any movement taking place. So when we switch the display on again, in this instance it's asking for it, the axis to be re-referenced because the operation of the machine means that movement might have taken place with the power being switched off. So it says to be sure you must move the axis to a point where you want to know that is for example the zero point, press the start button and that is the axis reset. For applications where for example there might be a long travel and the customer said there's no way that that axis will move with the power off you can take out the need for re-referencing so speed the axis adjustment up and mean you don't have to bring it right away down to the datum point again so to do that you enter the parameter list move down till you come to the R store value and or parameter sorry and you can change that to on press the star button and then come out of the then we can switch the axis off we know that the customer hasn't moved the axis with the power off so we should still be at point three we switch it on and it's minus point three so the axis hasn't moved and the display isn't flashing to indicate that we need to datum the axis. How to change the direction of the display. So currently you can see as we move the display from the left to the right, it counts up. Moving it from the right to the left, it counts down. So what we want to do is we want to change this because the customers told us that the direction is incorrect. So enter into the programming, step down till you see the direction. Now it says DN for down, change it to UP for up and register the change via the star button and then come out of the programming. We datum it. Now you see when we move to the right, from left to right, it counts down, and we move right to left, it counts up. How you can set the display, specifically our LCD battery powered displays. 
to sleep mode and this will um, significantly increase the battery life of the uh, standard AA or AAA batteries that are used on these displays. So you can go into the programming mode, step through to the parameter which says auto. At the moment this is switched off which means that the display will be on all the time so it's using battery power even when the axis isn't moving. So if you change this to on you switch that auto sleep mode on. You step through to the next parameter and that says the period which is the time period before the display will switch off into sleep mode. The customer wanted to set it to one hour but equally it can be set between anywhere between 0.2 of an hour or 12 minutes to 8 hours. So we'll set it to one hour, press the star button and that's stored. And that means that after one hour of operation the display will switch off. It doesn't need to be switched on again by the on off button it will automatically switch on as soon as the axis is moved With this video we'd like to show you how to remove the function of the star button as the um, point which you datum the axis so for example a customer said once he set the machine up and it's been set initially to a datum of 30 millimeters which we can show now by pressing the star button we've datumed the axis he doesn't want the operator to press that anywhere else other than at the datum point once the machine is initially set so what you do now is you can take out the function of the star button to datum it by going into the programming, step through till you come to the F apps which is showing now on, which is the function absolute value which is set to 30.0 as a reference value and if we change that now to off by the arrow up button Remember the change via the star button, which is the star button here. So that's been registered and now as we come back out, we'll show the current value because the sensor hasn't moved along the axis. When we press the star button again, all right, there's, we don't know if there's been any change made, but if we move the axis and now we press the star button, there's no change. So an operator can't get the axis into any sort of error of reading via inadvertently or deliberately pushing the star button. Mm -hmm.